It's July 9th, and Naomi Gurma is home, playing in front of her parents and community in her final game before leaving for the Women's World Cup. Growing up, just knowing all that they had sacrificed to give me my brother a better life. I think it was a lot of just not taking that for granted and making sure that we understood all that it took for us to be where we were. Hello everyone, this is my best friend, Naomi Gurma from San Jose, California. What a beautiful shot from Gurma. Excellent defending from Gurma. Good work from Gurma, she just stood her ground. She's just a humble person and I think she comes from a very humble family. They work hard for everything and they celebrate everything. Growing up in that way, you learn to appreciate moments like this so much more. Last year, her first season in the National Women's Soccer League with the San Diego Wave FC, Naomi Gurma was named both Defender of the Year and Rookie of the Year. The 23-year-old U.S. Women's National Team Defender says she never imagined this would be her reality. Neither did her family. More than 20 years before Naomi was born, her father, Gurma Oweke, fled a dictatorship in Ethiopia. Naomi's mother, Subley, arrived separately in the United States for a work and education program. The two met in California and started their family. Naomi's father, looking to strengthen bonds in the Ethiopian community, started the Malata soccer program. I first started playing with Malata soccer. It was where the Ethiopians in the Bay Area would get together and we'd play on Saturday mornings. So when I think of like my start in soccer, I always think of us at the park. What does Malata mean in Amharic? It means um, big, the beginning, you know, dawn, you know, in English, right? It is the beginning. My husband, he has passion, obsession for soccer. And passing that love to his children is extremely important to him. Let's give a huge welcome, really big, to Naomi Gurma. I wanted to play soccer because my dad played when his whole life and introduced me, my, me and my brother. And I really started because I wanted to beat my older brother. <laughs> My dad was 50-50 with like soccer and community. He really wanted us to, you know, understand the community that we were a part of. To know that I started playing with the Ethiopian community and how much that meant to my parents, it was where I fell in love with the game. As a first generation Ethiopian American, Naomi says her family didn't know what playing soccer looked like beyond those organized community games. We didn't know about like the youth sports, like the whole system that is in the US, like beyond like the YMCA. It took one of my best friends being like, just come to my club practice. Like it wasn't even a tryout. At age nine, Naomi began playing on the local club level where she continued to excel. She was fast, very fast, to the point where other coaches would comment on her saying, she was shredding us during the game. She's carrying the ball at high speed and very effectively over and over and over. By freshman year in high school, Naomi was already receiving calls from Division I colleges, including one right in her backyard. She's got it, the Cardinal are the Queens of college soccer once again. As team captain for Stanford, Gurma led the Cardinal to the 2019 NCAA National Championship in her hometown of San Jose. The 2019 Most Outstanding Defensive Player, Naomi Gurma! Throughout her entire collegiate career, Gurma's best friend and teammate, Cardinal goalie Katie Meyer, was right by her side. Oh, my God.
including NWSL Draft Night. With the first pick, San Diego Wave FC select Naomi Germa from Stanford University. <laughs> but less than one month before Naomi made her professional debut, Katie died by suicide. Katie was a day-to-day -day part of her life. When Naomi told me the news, I just, I just couldn't, couldn't believe it. I was heartbroken. Since her passing, I've put a lot of time and effort into working towards just getting more mental health resources towards different communities that don't have the same access that others do. So I'm trying to do that for her still. I wear a little wristband with the initials KM. She always thought I would go to this World Cup. So um, yeah, I think it's special that I'm here and I get to play for the both of us. As the first Ethiopian American representing Team USA in the World Cup, Naomi is playing for her family, her community, and her friend. What do you hope your legacy is with this team? I hope my legacy is being someone that champions other people, being an example of how support systems, communities, and just helping each other out Thank you. can change someone's life.